the previous Rebbe <clears throat> was in, um, I think this was when he came to America, or maybe it was when he was still in Poland. In any case, he was in a wheelchair, so probably was in America. What do you think? <clears throat> when they, um, they were taking him down the street, he was going down the street someplace, and the Rebbe told says, stop. And there was a building like five stories high. He said, I want to go up to the fifth floor of this building. And they said, why? He said, because there's a Jew up there that I would like to talk to. A, a, uh, a, what is it? a tailor. Tailor, you know, a person, a tailor is a person that sews garments. So the people that were with the Rebbe said, oh, we can go up there and bring him down. Uh, he said he won't, the Rebbe said he won't come down. I said, we'll go up to give me, what do, you, what do you want? He said, I want a button sewed on my garment. We'll take the garment up there. He said, no, I want to go up myself. So they said, okay. And so they took the Rebbe up. One person carried his uh, wheelchair behind them and the Rebbe walked or they pulled, I don't know what it was. Anyway, it was very difficult. I understand that the Rebbe walked himself up. So they had to help him go up and another person carried his wheelchair. And they went up to the, uh, and, and one of the, 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 the people in this said, what is the rabbi going up there? The, the, he said, we're going up to the tailor. The Rebbe wants to see this tailor. So they said, oh, oh, you don't want to see that man. That, that man, is a, he's a Jew, but he's very, very anti-religious. You know, he's a very bitter person, especially against religion. He really hates. So the Rebbe said, that's who I want to see. So they took him up and um, knocked on his door. He opened the door, saw three, four religious people there, and he wanted to just curse them out and slam the door shut, but he saw the Rebbe in the wheelchair, and it was strange, you know. He could, so he said, what, what did you bring him up here for? What, what do you want? What are you bringing this old man up for? What, do you want to convince me to do Torah and commandments? He said, you're wasting your time. You brought this old man up here, this old cripple up here, that I should do commandments. I mean, come, you know, you're really wasting your time. You went to totally the wrong place. You know, find someone in the street. Now leave me alone. It was about to close. The Rebbe said, I didn't come up for to talk to you at all. I have a button I want you to sew on my coat. And the man said, oh, come on. You really expect me to believe that? You came up five steps, five stories, five flights of stairs. You came all the way up here to me just so that I should put a button on your coat. That's ridiculous. And the Rebbe said, <clears throat> it's not as ridiculous as you. You really expect me to believe? Do you really think that God sent you down, your soul down, from the highest levels of heaven into this world just so that you should sew buttons on people's coats? The man looked at the Rebbe and he saw the Rebbe really was saying this from love. And eventually the person said, okay, come in. He decided to sew this, uh, this. And the Rebbe made an agreement with him. And the person actually became a, 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 a Jew that started doing Torah and commandments. So we see the importance of an, going up, going out of your way to help another Jew. <clears throat> because every Jew has come from the essence of Hashem. And sometimes one little button, tying on a button, can change the whole thing. And that's what the Rebbe said. <clears throat> All we have to do is shine the buttons up for the parade. And the Rebbe said the sh buttons have already been shined up for the parade. And now Mashiach is going to come. And I have my whole explanation of what that means, but not for now. God bless you all. <laughs> have a good day. And... <clears throat>